Koya. I'm the creator and founder of Silky Socks, and I'm here today to do a review on this Outre Cheyenne Melted Hairline Unit. But before we get into that, there's a few things that I want to ask you to do. If this is your first time coming over to Silky Socks, I want to say thank you so much and welcome. Here we do wig reviews, we give you hair tips, we do hair tutorials every Monday and Friday, and it's free. So if you like it, then think about going ahead and subscribing to the channel, and then go ahead and hit that bell so that whenever we drop a video you will be notified and if you're watching over on Facebook I love y'all over on the Facebook too go ahead and give this video a like and a share on both Facebook and YouTube and let's have a conversation about Cheyenne have you guys seen Cheyenne yet I know she's a newer unit by Outre but they're dropping so many units it's hard to keep up right now so let's have a conversation about it have you tried this one are you going to try this one let's talk about it and here over at Silky Sacks I love to send a shout out to all of my subs that is what I call my silky chicks and today's shout out is going to I guess you will be my silky bro right because we do got some 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 gentlemen that um, support the channel and we love you guys so much and so today's shout out is going to Jacob Lowen. I hope I'm saying your last name right Jacob. Jacob is super sweet. He has a channel where he does gaming so if you're a gamer you definitely want to check Jacob's channel out. I will put the link down in the description box below. Thank you so much Jacob for supporting the channel, for being in the live chats, having fun with us playing games. I know you probably don't care for wigs so I love you even more for always supporting, commenting. I appreciate you bruh. So without further ado, let's get into why you hit that thumbnail. Let's talk about Cheyenne. All right, you guys, so Cheyenne is from the Perfect Hairline Unit by Outre. I am rocking her in chocolate cream. And you know, I was a little shocked because you know I like blondes. If you watch me a lot, you know I like to review the blondes. I thought she was going to be a little bit more blonde. I probably should have gotten the cream soda if I wanted to be a little bit more blonde. But I wanted to try a different color, something a little different. So I got the chocolate cream. So you guys let me know what you're thinking if you like um, this color. I do like it. I think Outre does a beautiful job with the color. Let's go into this wig because y'all... Cheyenne got everything that they want to do now with the new wig technology she got it so let's go over it so Cheyenne is a part of perfect hairline she has transparent HD lace she is 13 by 6 she has a full scalp she um, is heat friendly and she has a pre plucked hairline so let's just go over them the pre-plucked hairline, I agree. I thought they did a great job with that as far as the transparent lace, HD lace. Um, it is HD lace, which, you know, at this point, you know, I'm used to taking my spray out now and spraying it. I'm putting the makeup on it, so I guess that's not a big of a deal. But that faux scalp. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The faux scalp, I'm not feeling it. I'm over the faux scalp. 13 by 16 is great, so you could do whatever you want to do with it. I just went ahead and did my favorite right side part because she's a synthetic curly wig. I wasn't about to be in here doing a lot, and she was a lot of work to put down. Just let me let you know that now. Now, I do um, like Cheyenne. Here's some of the other colors. I know I mentioned earlier about colors, but I don't know if I showed you. Here's the colors that she does come in, and... I do like her. I know that she kind of looks like Ariana. I haven't tried Ariana, but she kind of looks like Ariana to me. And I do love this. And I feel like I'm giving you Mariah. Okay? I feel like I'm giving you Mariah. You got me feeling emotions. Okay? Let me know if you see it. Okay? So, keep on watching. And if you want to get more tips on how to make your wig look more natural and how to really lay your wig down, then... Please take the time to check our description box when it's all said and done and download our free PDF giving you tips on how to make your wig look more natural. So without further ado, let's get into it. Go ahead and watch me unbox style and stay for the pros and cons because she does have some pros and cons. She, she was a little snug, okay? Okay, she was a little snug. All right. All right, so here she is. Perfect hairline shot and... All right, so here she is. The color is phenomenal as always. Outre does a great job. This is more of a, there's a, some yackiness to it, but it's some silkiness to it too. You know what that Outre, um, I don't know, it's like a silky yakky texture, but it, it definitely has a yackiness to it for sure. And you know, this spiral curls really pretty, the dark roots. Let's go ahead and look at this hairline. Got a little bit of baby hair. And then 
the lace is a little bit wider. Then you have that faux scalp in here, so it's darker. It's actually a little darker than me, but not too bad. So we'll see how it looks when I put it on. The cap is open, so that's good. It has a lot of stretch. You see the two combs here on the side. You got the uh, adjustable band, which I do like because this helps the wig really melt down. And then you have the comb in the back and the typical adjustable straps on the side. So let's go ahead and put Cheyenne on. So she is feeling a little snug. So we'll see how she is once I cut the lace off. I mean, I am able to stretch it, but I don't know how big head friendly she's gonna be. All right, so as I'm rubbing my fingers through, little tangling, but not a lot. So let's go ahead and give you a 360. So here she is in the front. This is Cheyenne to the side. Cheyenne on the left. Cheyenne in the back. Okay, so I was a little worried about the faux scalp on this one. Let me come forward a little bit more so you can see. And it's not looking too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off of Cheyenne Styler. We'll come back and talk about it. Okay, so I am back from styling Cheyenne and a sister put in some work, y'all. I put in some work. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I did is when I got closer to my mirror and to the camera, what I realized is, is that faux scalp, you could see a line of demarcation. So I decided to do like a lot of people have done with these faux scalps as I went ahead and took it out. It was my first time doing it. Um, I used my eyelash scissors and that helped me get underneath the uh, stitching better and cut it out. So I was able to cut it out and once I cut it out, it was much better. You couldn't see the line of demarcation really at all. Now, at the time I did not, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep this wig or if I was gonna sell it. So I didn't wanna use my Eben Tint Spray to spray this HD lace to match my scalp, but I definitely would recommend you do that or put some makeup in there. So I have on a black stocking cap and that was it. So, um, yeah, I would definitely go in and tint the lace. If you take the uh, scalp out, definitely go in and tint your lace. So, after I did that, then, of course, this is a part of the melted hairline. So, I wanted to go ahead and melt the hairline down. Now, when I was cutting the unit off, because I cut so close to the hairline, I ended up getting a little bit of shedding in the front, and I did take a lot of the baby hairs away. So, I was able to go ahead and use my bedhead spray, sprayed it down and then went in of course with the blow dryer to melt it down tied on my silky sack scarf for a little bit but what i noticed is once i cut the lace off you could still see my ends and my edges are out i didn't glue down the side so my edges are out here on the sides i just glued this top part here so i did notice you could see my hair coming out and so i didn't want you to be able to see the lace as good and since i didn't uh spray the lace i went ahead and recreated some baby hairs and cut some baby hairs and then just laid them down in the front here and then on the side here and some of this is my actual baby hair and then some of it is the baby hair from uh the wig that when i recut it so just to help uh camouflage that lace a little bit so like i said earlier i know i'm repeating myself but i just really want you to know if you decide to get with this unit you need to go ahead and tint the lace big mistake Ikoya. don't do it again okay so after I laid the front part of it, then I decided to go ahead and start working on the actual hair. Now, because this is a long synthetic curly unit, you don't want to do a lot of manipulation because it gets tangled and ratty and it was already starting to do that. So I did put some mousse on it because it's a lighter color to help with the uh, frizzes and frays that are around, you know, your face that get caught in your lashes and stuff. So to help just kind of bring, bring those wispies in and bring it back into the main parts of the wig and with the hair, especially around my face rub the mousse in when I was rubbing the mousse in I did notice some shedding 
and a little bit of tangling not as much um, as I thought it would but I definitely would just use my fingers with this I wouldn't be trying to like brush it out or comb it out unless you want it to be like really really big then you can definitely do that so after I uh, went ahead and rubbed the mousse in and just rubbed the curls, got the curls together, got the frays kind of managed in place. I was going to style it, but it was so much work, you guys, cutting that out, cutting that full scalp out and, and laying the lace. I was like, look, I'm going simple, okay, because I'm a lazy wig wearer. I'm going with that right side part. So I just went ahead and went in with the right side part, parted on the right, and then again, because I did not spray the lace I went ahead and went in with my fit me powder to go ahead and make the part have kind of help camouflage um that uh netting in the scalp a little bit so that was it so yes so let's get into the pros and cons of Cheyenne pros Cheyenne is a beautiful unit this density is really nice it is a big, but it's not super big. It's just really full. I love the curls and the color. You're not going to get Outre on the color, okay? I mean, I hope y'all got y'all raised if y'all haven't yet Outre. Give them people a raise. The color's phenomenal. The roots, I like the dark roots, how it goes to the color. Also, I like that you can part it however you want to part it. If you want to part it on the right, in the middle, on the left, if you want to do some braids or whatever. I like that, you know, it gives you room to do whatever it is that you want to do uh, as far as, like, styling goes. If you have the patience, if you're not a lazy wig wearer like me. And the cons. The cons, you guys, she's not beginner friendly. Cheyenne is not beginner friendly. So if you are just starting out wearing wigs, you're not really used to laying down lace, you're not really used to doing um, tinting and that kind of thing, you are going to you know, be challenged by this one. You're just gonna really have to take your time and get it in, but yes, yeah, she is definitely not um, beginner friendly. Also did not like that faux scalp. I hope that you guys will continue to make units without them because I love this line, but I do not like when they have the faux scalps. It's just extra work on top of already having to do so much work as far as laying the lace and that type of thing down. And then the other kind is she probably isn't going to last very long because she is a very long synthetic wig. So, I mean, she definitely is of a higher quality as far as a synthetic curly wig goes, um, but you know, these things only last so long. So that would be my pros and cons. And of course, when I take Cheyenne off, I'm not gonna put her back into the plastic bag that she came out of. I'm going to put her in a silky sack. A silky sack is a luxurious silk line bag that I invented to not only store your wigs in, but to add longevity to them. The silk lining allows the hair to just glide, cutting down on the shedding, tangling, and matting that it would do if you were to place it back into the plastic or the box that this one came out of, right? Just to get all dried out. So if you wanna know about Silky Sacks and other things that we sell, check the description box. The link to the website is down below. Thank you so much for watching. Again, remember better care is better wear and I hope you will join us again in the next review.